Hello, my name is Dante Rene, and welcome to the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film, this is Murder in Winter, directed by Rolf Konefsky. And I don't have a year on this, and it's even really hard to kind of look up on, online, but it was an early feature film by Rolf Konefsky, the director of There's Nothing Out There, and it's actually included on uh, the Blu-ray uh, DVD by Vinegar Syndrome of There's Nothing Out There. It's called Murder in Winter. And this particular film is almost two hours long and um, really kind of a, a rough VHS blown out type of vibe to uh, the film. And I believe he... Gosh, I, th I, I think I, I heard that it, he made it in high school. Um, and... Uh, and you think about like independent features, you think about like your first films and you don't think about a film that's an hour and 50 minutes long. I mean, that's really, really impressive. Um, Murder in Winter has such an interesting vibe that seems to mix a theater show with a movie. Uh, it's like a theater stage show with sets on a stage and then completing the entrances and the doorways around the stage with other shots um, in other locations. It has that vibe. And I do believe, I, I think I heard uh, Rolf Konevsky say that the film, that Murder in Winter was kind of a stage play or something. Um, it is an old dark house characters in a house mystery vibe i mean it, as i was watching the film it really reminded me a lot of the film clue which i adore and a lot of you know like even the film old dark house and the old dark house kind of genre subgenre of film murder in winter should have never been written by a teenager by a young person at all. It is way too uh, complex and impressive. Um, this is a film that is primarily all dialogue. It is dialogue driven, it's character driven, and the, it's storyline driven because essentially we are, through the duration of the film, we are uncovering things and unraveling things. The old Dark House films were always primarily character driven and, um, and dialogue driven because of the nature of the subgenre. And Murder in Winter, um, as the title says, has such a great cold vibe. I mean, you know, it's cold outside. Everybody wants to stay inside of the house. Um, it's also really interesting, musically speaking, because we kind of start off the film with really the kind of music that you would expect in an old Dark House film, you know, orchestrated, um, kind of classically, elegantly creepy and dramatic. And then as the film goes on, we get some electronic uh, score to the film, um, which is very interesting, mixing those two worlds together. And then when you have a cast that's young, um, and one guy who's young and, you know, kind of has like a fake mustache and, and fake, uh, you know, kind of old man look, but this is a young cast. There are a lot of lines to memorize in this film, and I just thought it was absolutely impressive because it not only had like, you know, it wasn't the type of old dark house where it's like, you know, who is the killer? This is the killer you have found out and the movie is now finished. It's the kind of film that is much more complicated than that because it has reveal to reveal to reveal to reveal to reveal. So it's twist upon twist upon twist upon twist in this machine gun way in the climax of the film that is absolutely dumbfounding. Um, we have a character in this film who is um, the horror movie fan and there's nothing out there. And this is obviously an earlier film for him. So he plays this obnoxious role that is a little bit similar to his role in There's Nothing Out There. And... It's so interesting because you have characters in the house, um, you don't, you know, 
they don't know each other or do they know each other? Uh, the relationship connections, uh, the historical connections, um, the layout of the house. Um, this is the type of film that if you know you, you you if you watched again you paid attention to every detail every conversation every character movement or, or piece of dialogue you would come under the the assumption ah yes now I understand you know now that I know the answers that all makes sense every T was crossed every I was dotted I mean. This is such an impressive screenplay uh, for for dialogue driven film. I can't even you know believe it. The lights go off. Um, we have some wild kind of neon like lighting, screams, gunshots, um, murders, <sighs> just mysterious goings ons. And right when you think that you figured out what is happening, more gets added into the mystery of it all. Now, the interesting thing about Murder in Winter is, man, I mean, it's incredibly low budget. You have to understand this is being done by a teenager. But I can guarantee you, you've never seen a teenager, you know, uh, feature film like this before. I mean, this is seriously, I mean, I, I was just kind of dumbfounded by how intelligent um, kind of the screenplay and the dialogue was. Again, it does feel like you're watching a theatrical stage performance at times. And it's very limited in the environment and, 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 and where we are in the house. And when we divert from the main room, it seems like that's when we enter into a movie world in a way. Um, we have characters eating dinner together. We're like, as I stated previously, we have the lights going off, people screaming. Um... Are people who, you know, are, are people actually who they say they are? Um, do people know what they say they know? Murder in Winter by Rolf Konefsky. What an impressive uh, film here, folks. And, uh, I mean, it's extremely low budget. And um, it just proves that the budget has nothing to do um, with... The characterization, the storyline, the twists, the turns, the complexity of a script. This is only available, as far as I know, on There's, there's Nothing Out There Blu-ray uh, DVD release from Vinegar Syndrome. So there you go, folks. Murder in Winter. Thank you so much for watching the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like Murder in Winter. Oh, and by the way, might I add, it is really wild to see a butler like played by a kid in the film, like a, like a younger person. It's really interesting. Um, and it's also really interesting how the outside world around the house kind of takes on a surreal quality of being like another universe in a way every time a character leaves the house. Please feel free to check out my own personal films that I make myself at youtube.com slash poopy diarrhea. That's P-O-O-P-Y diarrhea. And thank you so much. Good night.